All right, Grave Rising, Ancient One. I'm going to do a really quick video here. Excuse all the moving around. I'm trying to get myself together. I'm holding this phone, so this is going to get over real quick. All right, so this particular um, video is about building yourself, right? I'm 45 years old, so I come from the day and age, and really it's just like that now, of go to school and get a job. You know, if you just go to school, college, graduate, get a few degrees, and get a job, you're somebody, right? Wrong. Okay? All of that leads to slavery. All of it leads to slavery. I'll explain that, right? So, I did the whole go to college and get a job routine, right? Did that for many years. Um, I never had any time. Of my own because I had a job. It didn't matter what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go. I had to get permission from my master. Yeah, my supervisor, my job. I had to get permission. Hey, you know, my baby's sick. Uh, I need some time off. Uh, please. You know, I don't want to lose my job. And if they say no, you got to figure it out, right? You got to figure it out. That's inhumane, but that's a whole nother story. But that's a job, right? Just getting a job. Um, let's see. Oh, you know, they reward you for all your hard work with a 30 cent raise. Oh my goodness, imagine. 30 more cents an hour, isn't that wonderful, right? But that's what a job gets you. Oh, the whole go to college thing, right? Yep, did that. Got that. Mm-hmm. Yep. The cruise interest. Every time you breathe, interest is compounded. Yep. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Even when Sally Mae went defunct. Guess what? They didn't bail you out, did they? Nope. They didn't bail you out. They told you you still owed the money. Although, the place you allegedly borrowed from is no longer in existence and went bankrupt. But you know what? You're still on a hook because, you know, you don't really matter because after all, you're just the working force. So with all that being said, stop teaching the babies to get a job and start teaching them to build their selves, right? Wealthy people don't teach their children to get a job. They teach them to create jobs, as in you be the boss, which is the same as master. And you create jobs for employees, which is the same as servant. And servant only means slave, right? So we have a master-slave environment. So if you think you're an employee, you're not. You're a slave. Okay? And if you're some type of a boss, you know, at your job, then you're a master. And that would probably explain why so many people are treated so bad on their jobs um, and just basically not like humans, right? They're like these robots and they don't care what you got going on in your life. You better be at this job. So we need to get back into the mindset and I'm speaking to indigenous people, right? I mean, this message could be for everybody, but in particular, I'm speaking to indigenous people. We have been taught how to be slaves since um, the colonizers arrived. You know, we were taught to be slaves to their religion. That one right there, that was the first one. The first one, right? You know, be a slave to the religion because after all, you know, where the mind is, the body, the body follows. So we get their mind, we tell them everything they do is wrong and hedonistic and blah, 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 whatever, you know. Then they actually put a lot of us into physical slavery, right? Put us in physical slavery, shipped us all over the world, and I do mean all over the world, to do physical slavery, you know. The women became sex slaves, right? start birthing all of these colonizer babies, right? Because again, you know, 
they got to attach themselves to that wealth of the land. So they got to bring these babies in, right? That's going to be just like their daddies. Fast forward, here we are today. A lot of us are in bondage uh, when it comes to our identities, right? You know, that's a huge bondage. Um, they have slid us up under every category you could possibly think of. Uh, from um, the most famous black. Well, let's see. Negro, colored, black, African-American, white, if we were lighter than a brown paper bag. Mulatto, quadroon, whatever. You know, whatever designation that they can get us to fall into so that we can continue to be slaves. Fast forward to alleged 2018, because it is not 2018. This earth is much older than 2018 years old, okay? That's another slavery, mental slavery. Um, and the funny thing about it is they use whether you know the current year you're in and not as a uh, ruler as to if you are insane or sane, right? So... We have been conditioned, conditioned in the mind. We're conditioned in the mind to believe that we're in a year that we're not in. We've been conditioned in the mind. Again, this message is for indigenous people. Just have to throw that out there again. We've been conditioned in the mind to believe that our relatives are based upon skin color. Right? So they'll say, oh, that person is too light. They can't be indigenous. Oh, that person is too dark. They can't be indigenous. Oh, that person's hair isn't straight. They can't be indigenous. All of, all of those mental conditions that bring about slaves, right? Because that's the narrative. Create a slave. A slave don't think for themselves. They just go with the flow. Sprinkle a whole bunch of fear on top of that. And then you keep the slave because they're frightful. They're frightful to any do anything. They're frightful to build themselves up. They're frightful to build their children up. They're frightful to stand forward and say, hey, no more. This is who I am. So we have got to get out of all of those type of uh, bondages, mental slavery, you know, um, and start building ourselves up, you know, start reclaiming who we are. You know, I am ancient. Right? I'm ancient. My history is pre-history. Because it's not the history that the colonizers tell you today. You can't find my history in books. Okay? My history is etched in stone. Okay? Uh, my history is in forms of uh, buildings that we built. You know, mounds that we built structures that we built the, the structures that's still around and the structures that they still have not found that's my history right can't find it in the book because i'm not modern but we have just you know we got to build ourselves we got to build ourselves and we have to support each other we have to support each other and we have got to Stop being so desperate for money that we will sell out our brothers and sisters for shiny trinkets. That's what happened before. Shiny trinkets, you know. This didn't happen because a few handful of foreigners came onto this land. This happened because our kin sold us out for some shiny trinkets. Um, I actually saw pictures. Well, actually, I saw one in real life. But um, there was, um, I don't know what it's called. But a lot of them have it. It's like silver. It's like a necklace. And I'm talking about, you know, Indians, misnomer, colonized names, right? Ancient ones. That's what I like to go with. And it, it, it actually had the... Um, emblem for the Queen of England. Now, these are the indigenous people wearing it so proudly. Those are the ones that sold us out. 
right? For shiny trinkets, for new titles of honor, for a cut of the land that was taken from the rest of us. Um, and they're still selling this out. They're still selling this out. You know, nothing has changed. They are still selling this out right now to this day, as long as they get whatever it is that they feel like they need from whoever they're getting it from. My concern is not who they're getting it from. My concern is the fact that they're selling it out. So, selling us out. So, you know, you need to be mindful of that. Be watchful of that. Because anyone um, who is not speaking on indigenous matters as a whole because when you speak on indigenous matters you're not talking about just one group of people we're talking about the entire planet and all the indigenous groups and we all are dealing with the same thing and it's called colonization and being indigenous has nothing to do with skin color it has nothing to do with facial structure it has nothing to do with hair texture that's ignorant and that's a colonized way of thinking I see this all the time on social media I see it on Facebook I see it on YouTube um, and it's all of this back and forth and arguing about who looks indigenous and who doesn't look indigenous okay can we back that up have we not forgotten about colonization and the admixture of people who actually travel here prior to colonization and then after colonization? Have we not forgotten about the neighborhoods that was gentrified and you pretty much had to mix with whoever was in that neighborhood? That began to change the phenotypes. Did not make you any less indigenous it began to change the phenotypes. You know, if you're on a urban reservation, you're going to have more exposure to people who are in that urban reservation than you would if you were on a rural reservation. Rural reservation, you got a few people around, y'all having babies because you got rules that you can't have babies with somebody outside of that. Y'all start to look the same. And deal with some mental issues too because all of the inbreeding that's happening there. But anyway, that's another story. So we got to get out of this mindset that there is a certain phenotype for indigenous people. Okay. Yes, there are a lot of books out there. The Negro, as they call Negro, Negro, it's just a colonized Spaniard word for black. As in dark in color. I have a black shirt on. Black is actually my favorite color. My skin is not black. My eyes are not even black. My shirt is. Okay? But I'm still indigenous, right? I'm still indigenous. But I see the I see the attacks all the time and constantly. And to my indigenous brothers and sisters, you guys have got to stop putting your energy into fussing with ignorant people who really does not matter in your life. Let them think whatever they want to think. The time and energy that you're spending online arguing with these ignorant people, you could be building your family legacy. Right? Pro trying to prove something to ignorant people is a waste of time. Proving things to ignorant people does not make you intelligent. It makes you ignorant for trying to prove something to ignorant people. So move on. Put your energy in better places and let them think and say whatever they want to say because they're the ones that's miserable and not you. But they will pull you into their miserable energy if you entertain it. So be great, be ancient, be indigenous, and build your Stop teaching these babies to get a job. It doesn't matter how old you are right now. You could be young and you can be old. Start building yourself right now. We are talented people. Talent has never been a deficit for us. We have never been short on talent. Okay? Never been short on talent. We are very, very talent, uh, talentful. 
We have a lot of talents to give. But we keep giving it to other people. We keep giving our talents away for free. Okay? We think that if we're an inventor, we have to go to somebody else to help us, right? So we're giving our talents to them, and they're making money off of that. Or if we're we're a singer or something like that, that we have to give our talents to someone else, and they make money off of that. You know, the whole 360 deal. 360, a circle. No matter which way you turn, they're going to be in your pockets, okay? But our babies keep going over there. They keep going over there to... A place that they it's been known that they will be used and um, abused because we keep giving our talents away to other people keep your talents okay you make money off of your talents stop giving your precious talents away I'm getting ready to end this video because my sinuses is starting to flare up but yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, build yourself. Whatever your talent is, build yourself. Stop spending so much time and energy entertaining ignorant people. You know, think of it like a party. And in that party is all types of ignorant people. And you walk into this party full of nothing but ignorant people. And you stand in there arguing with them when there's a door that you can easily leave out of. But you're going to stay in that party of ignorant people arguing with them. Who's really the ignorant one? The one who has an exit but won't take it? Or the people who are pretty comfortable in their ignorance? It would be you, the one who has an exit and won't take it, and the one that's uncomfortable in the ignorance. So put your time and energy into other places, okay? Build your family. Oh, and before I leave, this particular message is for the ones that think all you have to do is say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm the Indian. I'm indigenous, yeah, okay, a picture of my grandma, my grandfather. Then what? We got that, right? You're indigenous. You choose to use the term Indian, oh, hey, that's you. My people didn't call themselves Indians, but okay, that's you. We'll go with that. Most ignorant people know the term and all of this and sort, so that's what you choose. That's your business. But then what? You found your grandma, you found your grandpa, then what? Yeah, okay. Exactly. Nothing. Crickets. Okay. You found your grandma, you found your grandpa. Okay, so now let's go look for their land. Did they have any land? Did they own land? Let's see, the census said that they were a farmer. Not a farm laborer, but a farmer. So that means they had land. Let's go find that land. Let's trace that land. Did it legally change hands? Or did it illegally change hands? Oh, illegally. Okay, so let's find out who hands it landed into. Now let's file suit. Let's file suit for theft of land. Now we're talking about your grandma and grandpa. We're not talking about the whole other continent. That's a whole other story. We're talking about just individual families that have found land. And you found that famous $1 transaction amount or something of the sort on um, that land sale. Go, go get your people's stuff. Go get your people's stuff. Restore that back to the family. You know, you know, uh, it's being indigenous is more than just saying that you are indigenous. It's more than using terminology like feathers up. Like, what do that mean? Feathers up. 
what does it mean? Feathers up while you sit at home and do nothing and you don't restore what rightfully belongs to your people. Feathers up. I mean, I ain't got time for no feathers up. Because I'm handling business. Okay? Them feathers is reserved for celebratory times. For me anyway. You know. Throw my feathers on when it's time to celebrate. After I handle business for my family. So, let's go back to grandma and grandpa. So you found out where they're buried at. Is it a family cemetery? If it's a family cemetery, how is it designated? Is it still up under that political title, black, black cemetery, Negro cemetery, and now the revisionist version, African American cemetery? It is? Okay. Well, what you going to do about it? You gonna get that change, or you gonna still allow your ancestors to lay up under that title? Or you just gonna be a Facebook Indian, a YouTube Indian? What you gonna do? Action. You have to take action. And action is not just saying that you are indigenous. Action is just not saying, oh, look at my grandma, look at my grandpa. It's correcting some things. And there's no excuses. Because if you want excuses of why you're not doing anything, then you can just go back to sleep with the rest of everybody else, right? Everything's fine. You know, you can go back to being a color and everything else because if you're not doing it for your entire bloodline, then you just playing games. You're playing games. I know I said I was going to cut this video, but I felt like going in a little bit. Now this, okay, so this portion right here. My arm is getting tired of holding this. This portion right here is for these other folks out here playing games. The, uh, the so-called uh, ones that call themselves Indians, right? Colonize their name. But yet, they still say they are poor, right? So they'll have a name like, let's see, Running Bear L. Bay. Running Bear L. Bay. Really? I don't know if there's somebody's name. Hopefully it's not. Because if it is, I'm not particularly. Well, yeah, I'm talking about. <laughs> Running very away, right? They still try to hold on to the nonsense. While trying to get benefits of indigenous people. I see a bunch of those out there, right? See, but They don't know. They serve two masses. They don't know what they want to do. They, ain't want, they don't know what they want to do, so essentially they ain't doing nothing because they're serving two masters. Let's see, you got the ones that uh, want to be Sekmet Akhenaten Cherokee. Okay, all right. They sound confused too. Now, this is not to say that you don't have ancestry in these other places. But you're confused because you don't know which one is most important to you right now. And it should be where you lay your head. It should be where you lay your head. So it's, you know, I, I see this all the time. I see this all the time on social media. In particular, Facebook. it's like a circus. It's like a circus. You got a lot of people trying to run around and perform in a bunch of rings. And it just looks all really, really confusing. Then you have a few people that's really serious about what they're doing. So let me see. The video is coming on 25 minutes, which is a little bit too long for me. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video with uh, a few points. One, build yourself. Stop being a slave. Stop teaching them babies to be a slave. 
um, two, stop serving two masters. Get it together and figure out who you want to serve and make sure you're loyal to whoever you choose to serve. And um, three, you know, we the ancient ones. And ain't no getting around that. Ain't no getting around that, you know. Ain't no hiding that. So you need to step into that role and handle business for your family. For your family, okay? For your family. And then once you handle business for your family, then you can help other families. So, peace, love, and light, ancient ones.